Databricks has come out with a whole host of new features for materialized views. But then I realized that some of you might not know what they are, how to make them in Databricks, or when to get the most out of them. So a view is just a stored query. So when you do select star from a view, you're running the definition of how that view is created. So it's like a predefined subquery. This is fine when the definition is simple, but if that view definition takes an hour to run, it's always going to be massively inefficient. This is where materialized views come in. Just like before, the view is defined, but now we run this statement at a regular interval and we store the results. Now you might be saying, Holly, this sounds exactly like a table. Why are you making things more complicated for me? And that's a great point, but here's where they're different. One, the updates are optimized to only recompute new data, so it's incrementally refreshed instead of fully recomputing the results. If you use any of these statements, you could save time and money updating data. Two, simplified orchestration. You can specify how often you want the materialized view to be refreshed as part of the table definition. So instead of setting up a job, you can run it like this. So why not use them all the time? As they're based off other queries, you can't do things like insert into, delete from, or overwrite data, and they're pretty useless for change data capture. You'd probably use tables earlier in your pipeline where you need replayability, is that a word? But then use materialized views later in the pipeline for multiple end users as part of a warehouse or BI serving layer. Okay, so that's what they are. How do you go about making them? Let's say I have a view defined as this and I want to make it materialized. I use the keywords create materialized view, but before I define it, I can add my schedule. I'll make mine hourly. Now I can just let it update regularly from there, but let's say I want to do a one-off update. As a view owner, I can run refresh materialize view. By default, this blocks any overlapping refreshes. So if I run this at 10.59, but it's due to run at 11 on the dot, it'll wait until this refresh is finished first. If I don't want to wait, I can use the async option. If you want to give this a go, you will need Unity Catalog and a warehouse that's either pro or serverless. Links to the docs in the description and check out this notebook I wrote that has examples of new materialized view features. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot on Data and AI, follow for more.